Let's make a gear in Autodesk in Render with the help of this Spur gear table. Now you will see all dimensions in millimeter root fillet 0.1 millimeter educational purpose. Okay. Now see this is the simple gear we uh, spur gear we have. Now here all the abbreviations you will see symbols D A D B D B. DP. DP means pitch circle diameter, DA means addendum circle diameter, DB means we selected here dedendum circle diameter. This is the formula and this is the value. Now there is a one key slot also. Okay, first we will create, uh, then you will see this teeth value, the root depth, uh, this uh, tooth depth is shown here how much tooth thickness as 3.145 see 3.145 and the top thickness 1 and bottom thickness 4.2 and there is a corner radius r point uh, 0 0.1 so and there are number of teeth you will see here 30 module 2 pitch diameter is given 60 pressure angle 20 addendum 2 Redundum 7 by 6 into 2 into A. See the formula, thick, tooth thickness. Addendum circle DA 64 is given. Redundum circle DP. DP means pitch diameter 60 minus 2B. Where is B? B this one. 7 by 6. Okay, two times of. The, and this is the face width of this. So let's try to make this. Let me choose new and go to metric and choose standard millimeter dot IPT. Okay. Now let's let me select home and make isometric view drop down origin and let me choose the suitable plane. So I'm going for uh, okay, let's go with XY plane. Now click and activate sketch features. Now first I'm going to select circle. Now start from origin point so see the green dot its origin point zero zero so click with right mouse and drag your mouse and see now here we have few dimensions let's say addendum circle diameter d is 64 enter again second diameter pitch circle diameter 60 enter now there is a redundant diameter also now this redundant diameter let's say 60 pitch diameter minus two times of addendum diameter so seven by six into two enter now see 55.33 right click okay let me select line and connect one line right click okay make this line press and hold shift key select these two lines and here choose construction okay now let's make teeth so here i am going to choose three point arc okay before going to choose three point arc i am going to define two points so select point let me place one point here one point here right click okay now here i am going to choose horizontal constraint select these two points so this is in one line right click ok smart dimension let's define this point this is tooth dim uh, what we call thickness 3.14 fine now activate three point arc one end to another end ok right click say ok now select this arc hold shift key and select these points and here choose coincident see here right click ok now it's time to mirror this so simply choose your mirror option first choose the line curve then activate mirror line and this construction line choose as a mirror line apply now see done now let me activate this dimension this point to this point this is going to be 4.2 that's fine now the upper point 
this is going to be 1 okay that's we did we made the tooth now simply choose finish now say extruded boss base first I am going to make this circle redundant circle make depth now see here input geometry profile already selected sketch plane also selected because the profile lies on one plane now behavior direction which direction so this is perfect direction but the direction thickness 20 millimeter that's fine you can give the name to this solid body but let's keep as it is I want to extrude this also so I am going to select plus now move cursor and select these two okay it is going to add boolean join similar direction 20 millimeter profile see here two profile because due to this line there is a two profile say okay now let me choose here fillet now here see the first option choose add constant radius age set the first option now in selection set here let's say 0 0.1 now let me select age 1, 2. See these two edges we selected. Okay. Now it's time to make multiple number of teeth. So here we have option called circular pattern. Now let me choose here feature. Feature let's say 1 and 2. Fill it and this. Now for direction let's say Z direction. I am going to choose Z direction. Okay, now here placement number of instances or number of uh, how many placement you want? 30. See, keep angle 360 degree so that the teeth will allocate at equal distance. Rotational, I am going to keep rotational. Okay, now see, teeth is created. Now we did this. Now look there is a 15 millimeter uh, this uh, extrusion 20 di inner diameter outer diameter 40 this is actually a hole you will see it in line and then there is a one uh, 6 by 7 a keyhole also select this face create a sketch now activate circle and here draw two circles the bigger one 40 enter again draw from the center 20 enter right click ok now this is fully constrained so finish and choose extrude now move cursor and keep this one profile selected sketch selected behavior direction is perfect now depth only 15 output going to join okay okay let me cancel it and right click and check the visibility oh that's fine now activate extrude now see if i move my cursor you can select the region due to line so i'm going to select inner region see here profile selected before going to add distance here I am going to choose in output cut and here either put distance or here one option called through all so let me choose through all just rotate and see the preview ok now right click on sketch uncheck visibility select this face create a sketch now I am going to activate here center two point center rectangle and I am going to start from this point 7 tab key 6 enter right click ok now if let's say dimension from here to here see this is going to be 13.5 that's fine this is fully defined this sketch finish and here activate extrude feature 
here choose bool in boolean choose cut and select this rectangle choose cut and keep here see the profile selected through all say okay material alloy steel see so this is how we can make a simple gear in spur gear in autodesk inventor i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching